Morning all. Uh, sorry, afternoon all. Um, if anybody saw my last video, uh, I came to a junction. Well, not really a junction. It's just that I couldn't figure out whether I was supposed to go straight on towards a place called Putton Roof, uh, or whether I should go the way I went. Um, and it's sort of like it's got me thinking I wonder where that road went so today we're going to have a look um, I've got a feeling I know kind of where it was leading but I don't remember having been on it so I thought we'd go and have a look at it um, now the weather today is not as nice as it was uh, the other day And it's quite cold actually, as we just enter Borick. I'm going to take a right. Uh, the other reason for this little bimble is because I am still trying to get the uh, audio perfected. in front there we go well behaved horse I've repositioned the uh, me facing camera as well. I thought uh, it was a little bit too close, so. Uh, and unfortunately, I can't alter the field of view on the camera. Uh, this is the old SJ Cam, SJ6 Legend that uh, I used to use all the time. Um, I can't actually alter the field of view while it's in uh, got the image stabilization on it's uh, it's fixed uh, so yeah I thought I'd just try just moving a bit further just have a look uh, yeah so for the first part of this ride we're just going to uh, do the reverse of the last run um, there was quite a lot of clip clipping um, which is where the distortion just the the wind noise and everything else is just playing havoc with the microphone um, so what I've done I've, I've moved the position slightly the microphone and uh, fitted a furry dead cap oh god's sake
obviously a bit of a scared horse. So I'm trying to um, try to get rid of the clipping. That was that bridge I mentioned as well. Uh, trying to get rid of the clipping on the audio. Uh, we're, we're still retaining that nice thud 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 you can hear at low revs. Pill this. And then we run sort of alongside the railway for a bit. Um, the uh, the steam trains, steam locomotives. They're, uh, come along here and we're, I was thinking when I was watching this back the other day it'd be a great place to when we know that they're coming it'd be a great place here wouldn't it It's a shame um, that uh, farmers <coughs> make a mess of the countryside really isn't it, with the machinery, if the machinery is knackered, scrap it. Don't hang on to it forever in a day. So I'm just trying to uh, minimise the cleaning of clementine required uh, we're away for a week uh, going back down to Cheshire um, so if there's a bit of a gap between my videos uh, that's why uh, my mum's got some uh, hospital appointments or whatever this so Day to day, the, the weather forecast was for uh, for rain all day. Um, but it's like it can't quite make its mind up. Right, this is the uh, the junction that well, had me flummoxed. do actually is I'm just going to take a photo here right I'll take a photo see you in a minute right I'll turn around now Yeah, so this is the road I wasn't sure. I, I don't think I've been down before. Unsuitable for heavy goods.
very gravelly. There's a big house there somewhere. Nice place, isn't it? Like I say, I've got a feeling uh, I know where it's going to come out. Uh, and unusually for me, I didn't look on uh, on Google Maps, uh, Google Earth. Quite gnarly. That's it mate, you keep coming. Oh, it's a nice little wooded bit isn't it? I'll just open my visor. A little river. Nice house. Bridge. Very steep hill. It's a, bump, a bumpy uh, the grass in the middle of it, so it's not very well used, is it? Uh, with that house being right by the river there, it makes you wonder if it's some kind of mill, mill or something. There's a lot of loose gravel and mud. Yeah. <laughs> the T junction should be here somewhere, I think. There it is. Right, so we're going to take a right. If we took a left there, it would just drop us down into uh, Burton and Kendall. It was actually the way that we came two videos ago this will uh, give me a chance just to try the mic out at higher speeds slightly Yeah, if anyone's interested, I've got the DJI uh, mic adapter and lab mic going into the Osmo Action 3, and I've just I've got it now set at minus eight uh, on the recording volume. Uh, but I don't want to bore people with that because uh, I know I know not many people watch the videos where I'm trying to set things up. A bit of a loss from there.
road. Um, nice to see I stood the out. God, I stood the out and about again. And uh, Ainsworth Rider, Silver Fox Travels, and Derek uh, Solo Moto UK. He's got his own uh, new bike. Hopefully, he'll get it fixed soon, Derek. <laughs> and of course, the all year motorcyclist has been putting them all out again. Biker dude is at Fraser Island. Um, now I think there's a, oh God, if I remember right, there's a church up here, one or two left by that. Alternative route down to Kirby Long's Hill there. That'd be an interesting one. Oops. I went down a gear too many then. Village Hall. You see this, this when the roads are bumpy it's really hard to speak. It's quite hard to speak as most of you know anyway in a helmet because uh, your, your cheeks are squished together aren't they? Right. If I've done this road, um, I've got a feeling I did it when I had my Honda CRF 250. Quite far reaching views. Oh, you see the Lakeland Fells in the distance over there, and then you've got the Yorkshire, the Howgills and the Yorkshire Dales over there. It's the Howgills over there. place called Clawthorpe. Um, oh God. Now, when we go over the hillock over here now, you can see where the road line is, and you've got Falton Fell. Uh, and there's a, there's a gravel company, you know, Roadstone and all that lot operating there and what I'll do is share and put it up here somewhere um, a, a photo or screenshot photo from uh, Google Earth uh, to see the scar on the landscape because uh, this area is uh, limestone 
but from from you know you can't see it from the road or whatever because of the trees but from above it looks oh, it looks bloody awful on the CRF many moons ago. And if you, oh, just stop here a minute. Yeah, you could park here and go for a walk and walk up Felton Fell. Then you've got Morecambe Bay in the distance over there. Say you see all the trees that are over here now on the right hand side. Like nestled amongst all those trees there. That's where the quarry is. steep this bit oh, open my visor again sorry and blossom on the edge row here bit of a walkway somewhere. I remember doing it many years ago. Uh, it's actually actually a cracking place to go in autumn. Might be yeah up there. Now we're dropping out into a place called Clawthorpe. Another good wood collection there. Look. Nice cottages there. I think there's one actually.
I think a lot of these are uh, holiday cottages. I think what I might do, I might take a right on the main road and then a left. Yeah, this is the uh, A6070. If you went left, you'd go to Burton and Kendall, and if you went right, all the way, you'd go to Kendall. And we'll take a left. I haven't done this many times either. Hope we go over the M6. Bumpy, bumpy. big lorry. Thank you very much sir. Hey up a bridge. You know what that means. God there was a huge pothole in the middle of that. Uh, yeah we don't want to go to all the mental. end up in Burton and Kendall again but by a different weight route and another bridge tunnel. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Over the M6 again. Burton and Kendall is a little big town, a little little big village, a big little village. It's a lot bigger than you actually think. It's uh, spread out a bit, you know. And this is called Neddy Hill. And uh, some very good friends of ours. Uh, it's where it's just up here. It's where uh, Honor Michael. Classic 350 used to live in winter in that house there. Um, yeah, because I used to hibernate, uh, but my interceptor 650 into hibernation, uh, and they used to let me put it in their garage. Just out of as we come out of Burton and Kendall, it's a 60 limit, so just give me a chance just to try this new setting at higher speed. Uh, 
it was a, it was a quite a windy day again. And it's look, looking threatening, so it might rain in a bit, so I think now is the best time to come out. about the um, adjustable levers I'll tell you they're, they're brilliant you know they really are good especially with small-handed people like me video on the motorway bridge. We haven't done that for a while have we? There we go. Yeah, there's the M6 yet again. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, it's like I say it's as much for me as uh, for showing you around today because I just wanted to try this new setting out so um, yeah so anyway hope you enjoyed it uh, please like big thumbs up if you would comment subscribe if you haven't done so already and we'll see you on the next one like I say we're having a week away without Clementine so uh, there might be a bit of a gap all right bye now mm -hmm.